In this video, the auditor is auditing the effective implementation of the organization's corporate responsibility policies. He is auditing the HR director who is responsible for deploying the policy and also the HR administrator is also present. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor audits this process effectively. Can you show me your corporate responsibility policy? Yes, yeah, we have two relevant policies. Um, we have an employment code of conduct uh, and then we have a separate policy that talks about anti-bribery and whistleblowing. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see the employee code of conduct first. How is this policy communicated? Um, we communicate through the induction process. So for new employees, it would be through the induction process. For existing employees, they all have a copy um, and it's discussed as part of the annual appraisal process. Uh, if there are any issues, these are recorded in the appraisal and then uh, addressed with HR. Okay. Uh, can I see some examples? I have two names here. Can you find them? Uh, first name's James Blunt. Okay, yeah. And then uh, Peter Wong. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll just get those records for you for James and Peter. It'll just take a couple of seconds. Oh, perfect, thank you. Um, okay, so James. Okay. And, and Peter. Peter. Okay. Now, can we look at uh, the other policy? How was it communicated? Yep. Um, we use exactly the same process. So we distribute it as part of induction for new starters and each and existing employees um, have it and it's reviewed as part of the appraisal. Okay. What about your temporary contract people? Um, we tr treat them a little bit differently. They are um, not included in the formal process, but they are made aware of the quality policy. But they don't have appraisals in the same way that permanent employees do. Okay, uh, but that doesn't meet the requirements. All people working in the organization need to be aware. Okay, we can certainly include them. Um, so moving forward, we'll include temporary um, and contract people. Uh, we'll make a note of that and we'll follow up on that. Okay. If someone identifies an issue with anti-bribery policy, who do they escalate it to? Um, we have an independent um, number, so there's a, a phone number that we publish and make available to people and they can phone that number if they've got something they want to share independently outside of the organisation. So have there been any reported incidents? Uh, yes, there have. We've had two instances reported to us. Okay, and then what actions were taken? Um, in, in both cases, the two employees were dismissed um, as a result. Uh, we discussed the issues that were raised during those um, reported incidents at management review, um, and we took the decision it was a, a major breach of, of the policy. So can I see evidence of a review? Sure. Um, it will be documented in the management review minutes. I haven't got them. Um, on me now, but we'll certainly get those minutes for you and highlight the relevant section. Great, thank you. Let's summarise. The auditor undertook an effective audit of the deployment of the corporate responsibility policies. There is not a requirement that all the points in 5.1.1.1 need to be covered in one policy. The auditor was correct in asking for evidence of communication of the policies to temporary employees and identified that they would be recording this as a potential non-conformity. And finally, rather than just checking that the policies exist, the auditor did follow the trails to check that the policies were being effectively implemented. Let's summarise the key learning points. The corporate responsibility policy is a requirement in IETF 16949 that needs to be audited for effective implementation. In this video, the auditor did a good job about undertaking the audit. 
in not just identifying that the policies exist, but actually looking for the effective implementation. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe.